Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a no communication reading for my dearest Libras. Libra, we're going to take a look at your person, what they might be thinking or feeling, how they may be viewing you and any possible action that they may take towards you. We're also going to take a look at the lessons that need or needed to be learned from this connection and we'll get as much advice from spirit as possible. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Libras for their highest and greatest good. Oh, all right. Excuse me. Um, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I always feel this Knight of Pentacles. He's on top of this Buffalo, definitely a sign of abundance prosperity. So it does feel like there's somebody here that may be working towards, you know, um, creating wealth or paying off debt. But I also feel this is an indication of somebody who may really want to get on the same page with you, Libra. All right. They're viewing you as the three of wands. So you might be at a distance from this person, different city, state, or country, but they do see growth and expansion here. Um, and the King of Wands, this is definitely someone who's going to be taking action towards you. They could have fire in their chart, Aries, Leo, or Sag. And we have the Eight of Cups. So Libra, did you walk away from this person? Did this person walk away from you? Or is that like a major fear here? But I see somebody here that wants to offer you everything they've got, that wants to get on the same page, that wants to move this towards some sort of stability, some sort of commitment here. All right, so let's go ahead and see clear messages and guidance for my Libras. Wow, your person wants a new beginning. The Ace of Pentacles could be somebody who's offering you a gift, and oftentimes this can be a ring. So some of my Libras, you might have a proposal coming in. Now, remember, no communication could indicate that you just haven't talked to this person in a couple of days, um, or you're just nervous about what they might be thinking, how they're feeling. For others of you, this person's coming in pretty big with some sort of major proposal, some sort of gift. And like I said, for some of you, it may be a ring. And with the death card, they're ready to transform this connection. Endings bring new beginnings, but this person is ready to transform this connection. They're trusting their intuition. I feel like your person has been... Doing their homework, you know, uh, Scorpio energy is definitely all about doing the investigation, you know, behind the scenes, checking you out, learning everything they can about you, what you're up to. Um, if you're feeling this person's energy around you, that's because it certainly is. They're seeing you as the three of wands. They want movement forward here. And I love how there's like these caravans coming together and everybody's on the same path. Like this person wants to get on the same page with you. I feel like they're also seeing you as like joining their family or like friends and family being happy about you two being together or coming together. They're not so sure though, Libra, you might have other options. And I do feel, if I'm not mistaken, this is a message that's been coming through for you in the last couple of readings, that this person's a little bit worried that you're not ready to settle down or you have other options or you're dealing with somebody else. Ooh, and they're really worried that your heart chakra is blocked, that you're not gonna receive the love that they're offering. Now, each and every one of you, you know if you're interested in this person or if you wanna accept them or you wanna take them back or whatever the situation might be. So they are worried. They're definitely feeling a sense of lack or loss if there's been some sort of ending here with you. Now, this person is holding back a little bit. I do feel like they're working with law of attraction. They are going to take action. They're trying to manifest you, but maybe they're just waiting for the right time. Three of Wands also tells me this person might be at a distance from you. It's coming out again. And wow, they're seeing you as the king to the queen of wands. This is a power couple, Libra. This is someone who feels like your soulmates, your divine counterparts. Again, this connection may be blocked right now because of distance or they're just trying to build up their strength and their courage. Again, I see that they're quite a slow moving energy, but the king and the queen of wands as the final outcome or their, their action towards you tells me this person's coming in. They're coming in strong and they're seeing very clearly here, Libra, that your soulmates, that they want to re, re unite. They have very strong, very sweet feelings here. For some of you, it's definitely a secret admirer. You know, um, all right, let's get into this. I'm loving this soulmate energy. I'm loving the king and the queen of wands because it also tells me you two may be a perfect match or a perfect fit, or at least that's how they're seeing it. But they are worried, okay? They are worried that maybe you're dealing with somebody else or you're not ready for commitment. 
All right, so what their higher self would like you to know is dedication. Yeah, Libra, I don't know what you've done to this person, but you have me, mind, body, and soul. They are all yours. But they also want you to know that I'm becoming self-aware and I have learned that what I have gained again and again must come to an end. Beautiful. So we see that ending and that transformation there. They've been doing their shadow work. They're looking at unhealthy patterns, Libra. All right, let's see. And we have sacrifice, yeah. So you're asking me to let go of what is familiar in my life. That is difficult for me. So for some of you, you know, they're recognizing maybe, you know, they weren't ready um, for the love that you were offering or they weren't ready to make those sacrifices in the past, but they're starting to see that they definitely need to compromise in order to come together with you and release any bad habits or patterns. And they also are recognizing that they can't, toe the line any longer results happen when we upend contentedness and push ourselves so i do feel like this person is willing to take a leap of faith take a risk to push themselves to come towards you um, because they don't want to lose you here libra they absolutely don't want to lose you all right let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my libras what are the lessons that need or needed to be learned or what else do we need to know about this connection Clear messages and guidance for my Libras, please. All right, take a chance. So Spirit's saying you can't grow in your comfort zone. Stepping into the unknown is trusting the universe. Go for it. So we definitely see this, like taking a chance. Results happen when we upend ourselves. We push ourselves. Spirit's telling you to go for it. There's something powerful here, Libra. Of course, you make your own decisions. Trust your intuition. Get out of your head and into your heart. This is the truth. So I definitely feel like your person has dropped into their heart space. Some of my Libras, you may need to do some heart chakra work because I do see the Ace of Cups showing up in reverse in your energy. Or, you know, this person is worried that you're not, you're going to lead with your head and not your heart here. Um, and we have mutual symbiotic, beautiful. So spirit saying this is a beneficial and balanced connection. And remember, we have the king and the queen of wands here. Both partners have the same feelings, ideals, values, and shared goals. And that is absolutely a recipe for success. But we do have a bit of a stalemate situation. So someone needs to take decisive action. But I see your person coming in to take action here, Libra, for sure. All right, so get ready, get ready. And I don't know if they walked away from you or you walked away from them, but they're definitely seeing you differently. They're seeing clearly that uh, they don't want to miss this opportunity with you. So what advice do we have for my dear Libras, please? All right, we have double confirmation of buffalo spirit. Buffalo might be a sign or a synchronicity or a symbol or maybe your animal totem here, but the abundant universe will provide this person's got a lot of abundance and they want to offer it to you. Some of you, I would expect, some of you are going to be getting like a big, big old rock, right? You're getting a ring or a gift. Um, but again, for others of you, this is just going to be an abundant connection with the king and the queen of wands and snake spirit. It's time to heal. Double fives tell me that there's going to be shifts and changes. 55 is the master number of change or conflict or fluctuation, but I also feel like that's coming to an end. So I do feel that healing can and will take place here for many of my Libras. And the whale spirit, trust the great mystery. So understand that spirit has your back and everything happens for a reason, Libra. All right, so obviously you're gonna decide. I want you to make the healthiest choices for you and yours in love and in life. But I'm hearing very loud and clear that you may wanna take a chance here on this person. The king and the queen of wands, a lot of abundance. And abundance means different things to all of us. For some of, it's a, for some of us, it's an abundance of rest. Some of us, it's wealth, it's money. Um, you know, but it's, you know, taking time, being able to have time with friends and family. Um, you know, love, making love. You know, it means so many different things to all of us. I am going to read from the book. This is a newer Oracle deck. It's called The Night Fairies. And again, if you're after any of the cards I'm using, I always list them and link them when possible down below. All right, but we have the Night Fairy Oracle here. And your night, your fairy is the portal. So take a look at this beautiful energy. Number 12. Okay, lovely. And 12 is the major arcana for the hanged man, which is definitely seeing things differently. Definitely a spiritual connection here. And spirit saying, get ready to step into a magical world. Um, the fairy of the portal welcomes us into a beautiful blue spiral of ups, downs, twists, turns, and magic. This is the dance of life. 
The portal celebrates the sacred circle of the solar system and the beautiful ring of Mother Earth's dance with the sun and the moon. And remember, the sun and the moon, divine counterparts. Never to be outdone, the night fairy's totem, a toad, reminds us to dive deep into beautiful bliss and relish in the mystery of it all. Wonderful journey, highs and lows, new opportunities, wheel of fortune. And if that doesn't sum up this reading, Libra, I don't know what does. This is powerful. All right, I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Also, just a quick note, there are two ways you can get a private reading. You can go through my Etsy shop or you can go through my website, sirianatarot.com. All right, love and light. Take care.